Hello everybody, welcome to Transy Learning Chemistry videos. Today we'll be discussing about the practice problems related to inductive effect and types of inductive effects. So let's see what all questions we'll be covering in this video. The first question. Minus I effect results when an atom or group attached with carbon chain is more electronegative than carbon chain less electronegative than carbon chain, having same electronegativity as carbon atom and none. So out of these four, this is eliminated. Having same electronegativity is also eliminated because if uh, the carbon chain and their uh, incoming atom or the attached atom or group will have same electronegativity and then inductive effect will not take place. So out of A and B, which one is the appropriate answer? So if we consider minus I effect is the permanent displacement of electrons towards the atom or the group which is more electronegative than carbon atom in a carbon hydrogen chain. So you can see here that the electrons are getting drifted towards this more electronegative uh, atom. So the minus I effect results when a more electronegative atom is attached to the carbon chain that is more electronegative than carbon chain. So A is the appropriate answer. Next question, which one of the following will show plus I effect and why? And the second part is arrange the following in increasing order of plus I effect. So you can see here three figures. This first one is methanol, which is a primary alcohol. The second one is propane to all, which is a secondary alcohol. And the third one is 2-methyl propane 2 all which is a tertiary alcohol. So uh, we need to first of all find which one of them will have the greatest plus I effect and then we need to arrange them in the increasing order of plus I effect. So let's start. First of all, what is plus I effect? Plus I effect is the permanent displacement of electrons away from their of atom or the group which is less electronegative as compared to the carbon atom in the carbon hydrogen chain. This is an alkyl group so here carbon atom will be present. So this group attached to uh, this carbon chain is less electronegative. That is why it is donating the electrons towards this carbon chain and this results in the plus I effect. So the plus I effect is shown by element or group which donate electrons to the carbon carbon chain. Now if we take into consideration the alkyl groups, the alkyl groups are electron releasing in nature. So whether we consider the methyl group or we consider the uh, ethyl group or we consider the propyl group, all these groups, in fact all the alkyl groups are electron releasing groups. So if we consider the, those three structures given in the question, then these three structures have different number of alkyl groups. Methanol has just one alkyl group, whereas propane 2 all has two alkyl groups, whereas 2 methyl propane 2 all has uh, three alkyl groups. So now the question arises how the presence of these alkyl groups, in this case methyl group, affects the inductive effect? How are we going to find which one will have the greatest and which one will have the least inductive effect? So the answer is that inductive effect is directly proportional to the number of alkyl groups present. That means more the number of the alkyl groups, more will be the inductive effect. Because uh, alkyl group releases the electrons towards this oxygen atom and the electron density on the oxygen atom increases. So here we have one methyl group, so it will have comparatively less density on the oxygen atom. Here we have two methyl groups, there will be more plus I effect and the electron density on the oxygen atom will be more. And in this case, we have three alkyl uh, groups, so the inductive effect will be maximum because these three groups will release the electrons towards the oxygen atom and it will have the maximum density on the oxygen atom. So uh, the basic rule is more the number of alkyl groups, more is the inductive effect. As this uh, methanol has just one alkyl group, whereas propane 2 all has two alkyl groups and this tertiary alcohol has three alkyl groups. So this third one that is 2 methyl propane 2 all will have maximum plus I effect. Thus the greatest plus I effect is shown by this 
third figure, which is 2-methylpropane-2-ol, due to presence of maximum number of electron-releasing group, that is the methyl groups. So uh, this was the first answer. Now the second is that we need to arrange them in the increasing order of inductive effect. So uh, now we know the answer that uh, more the number of alkyl groups, more will be the inductive effect. This has one alkyl group, this has two alkyl group, whereas this has three alkyl group. So this third figure that is 2-methylpropane-2-all will have the maximum plus I effect, whereas uh, this one having the least number of alkyl group will have the least plus I effect. So if we need to arrange them in the increasing order, it will be like this. So methanol will have the least plus I effect, then propane 2 all, and the maximum plus I effect will be shown by 2 methyl propane 2 all. So this is the increasing order of the plus I effect. Part 1 ends here. Thank you. For second part of this video and for more videos, you can visit our website transelling.com. Have a great day.